welcome, welcome, welcome to Farmville, Virginia, the promoters just said we'll go live. We got a good crowd here tonight at Farmville, Virginia. If everybody asks, you say we're at Farmville, Virginia, so I don't have to type. V8 modified tractors, 440 uh, cubic inch small block swapped tractors, and then we're going to have some 8,000 pound light pro stock tractors. And then some 62 National Sportsman 4x4, and then some 10,000 pound Super Pro Farm, 8,000 pound Hot Street Diesel Street uh, Gas, and then Street Diesel 4x4s so we'll are closed out tonight. classes 15,000 pound farm and 62 to 100 pound open we'll we'll go live again probably Monday night I'm driving to Alabama tomorrow to see my mom and then we'll go we'll do the whole show Monday night Chad, you, big mama. farm tractor the last hook 10 year old Charlie Martin won the class and he drove back by just like Rocky's doing and they were cheering him on they were waving at him all kinds of stuff it's really a cool moment uh, we'll, we'll go back and show you that Monday night on the rebroadcast of this show V8 economy modified 4x4 then we're gonna have the uh, Seventy-eight hundred pound light pro stock, sixty-two hundred pound sportsman four wheel drive, ten thousand pound Cooper Pro form, eight thousand pound hot street diesel, street gas four x four, and street diesel four x four. Chad Seal and Big Mama coming out of the Tappahannock area. This is a Dragon Motorsports built motor. Uh, 
Chad has operated sleds. He's helped out with Dragon Motorsports in the past. Two thirty three ninety six two three three nine six. You're all good, Lars. We actually have somebody in the stands here from Germany. Pretty cool. Up next is gonna be John Nichols on Loose Change. You can tell me where you're from. We're in Farmville. I'm from Woodbridge, and I'm uh, heading tomorrow to go see my mom for a little bit for a few days in Athens, Alabama. So we. Have this is four hours uh, on the way. A good, good little side trip for us. We only got eight hours to go to Mom's house. Good for us. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like the Appomattox Young Farmers page uh, on Facebook uh, for future events like this one. Uh, they got some, uh, I think they got a rodeo coming up here pretty soon. Check that out. And you can also like Dragon Motorsports at Dragon Motorsports space space inc dot. I think it's just a dot at the end. Former points champion John Nickel coming up right now on loose change. It's a 190 and a 200, so he split the difference, calls it a 195. Alice Chalmers, loose change. This is John Nichols on Loose Chain. He's our announcer for tonight. I'm just filling in for him right now. Yeah, so when we uh, when we uh, when we gained this uh, polar, we lost our announcer. So. Long time no see. It's like just a feeling. Twenty-seven, twenty-three. Good grief! Three, two, seven, two, three. 
Gary Coffee coming up out of Buena Vista on the uh, Deer Hunter, Alice Chalmers. So you see uh, Tommy backing him in there. Tommy drove last year. This is Gary's year to drive. They stayed with the same driver for the whole season. So this is uh, Gary's year. He is the father. Uh, Tommy's the son. And they travel all over. They're not really going for points per se, but they'll hit as many hooks as they can. cubic inch he put it to work on the deer hunter right there Gary coffee 32925 32925 he is your new leader right there coming all the way out of Buena Vista
sled coming out of Tappahannock, Virginia. It weighs 32,000 pounds dry. It's got four weights in it. Each weight is roughly 2,000 pounds, so we got about 40,000 pounds on the weight right now on the sled transfer device. We got our eyes in the sky tonight. We got our drone crew, pixel hunters. And we were experimenting with the live stream, trying to get the drone into the live stream. I left my dongle at home to bring in another HDMI source, so we'll try to have that worked out for the final show. Maybe we can do some uh, drone replay kind of a deal. But we couldn't do it tonight. But we'll, we'll, we will mix it into the, the YouTube videos and the Facebook videos. Thanks for all the new subscribers. I really do appreciate it. Red clay, that's right. And it, they put a little bit of water in it. Uh, four, I think 4,000 pounds of water, gallons, 4,000 gallons. And uh, I haven't seen much dust at all. Just a little bit when they're digging it up. And it's little chunks that fly. But man, it's going back together good. I can't tell you about the food situation. I have not eaten yet. Uh, but they've had uh, really good seafood in the past. Ribs, they usually bring me a plate of ribs. Uh, funnel cakes, lemonade, all that good stuff, you know, fresh squeeze. This is Hugh Crittenden coming out of Chester Field. On the full throttle, the John Deere 4020. Ten John Deere, sorry, I got that wrong. Huge taxidermy. Hugh doesn't actually do it. He has a fellow that does it, and uh, the fellow got so good at it. Three zero eight forty one. Three zero eight forty one. The fellow got so good at it. Hugh said, "Won't you just run this as your business? Pay me a little commission off of it." So uh, he's also responsible for the Virginia Sportsman. He. Uh, organizes that. They do the Jack of Diamonds, all that stuff. He, he was retired, now he pulls tractors. Gary Coffey and the deer hunter. He got him some deer tonight, boy, I'm telling you. Beautiful WD Alice Chalmers looking uh, machine. All these were Chevrolet's, I believe.
I like that they get to cross right in front of the fans. Really cool moment. Um, I know they do that in Europe. And uh, at Farmville, they do it here. about 200 people tuned in. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate all the likes and shares and subscribe, follows, chat. Don't get a round of applause when Casey come out here helping out doing the announcing out here tonight. Give a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. There's Young your, lady uh, been around pulling for all There's the loose change life. driver, John Nichols. Martin Stanley, St. Hughes. 8,000-pound light throat stock smoker coming up next. Glad to bring you some truck and tractor pulling. In that sled, you can almost, you can almost put about eight blocks. Let me tell you about the 7,800 pound light box. They're actually now running about 8,000 pounds. We run in the lightweight. Ted Ingram and the Acme we'll Rocket is your points leader right now. It's a, a close lead. lead. I think head bottom. case is number two. The whole dynamic and then I think split. Bradley Seal is number three. When you're taking the weight hanging over the axle, the counterweight slams a little bit easier to take off. Bradley Seal, Seal in that New Holland is number three right now in points. On the hitch and on some of these tractors. So it's real close, neck and neck. 125, 150 horsepower motor that came from the factory and trying to get well over 1,200 out of it and get the tires to hook to the track. We'll watch those out here tonight coming up next. Four sixty-six cubic inches. All the good equipment. One of our sponsors and one of the sponsors. Three by four on the turbo. The They're making anywhere motors. between fourteen hundred and fifteen hundred horsepower. One single turbo injection pump, heat pump, seventy-one hundred series. James River equipment. Uh, pump. Pearson equipment. Also M and M Motors. Water Farmer injection Bank. intercooled. Forest Pro Incorporated. These are, they got needled rear ends, 8,000 pounds, supply, driver and tractor. Robinson Funeral Home and Lynchburg Livestock. Hey, how are you? Not bad. It looks like we're going to... Uh, I think we're going to put some weight in, but maybe we're taking a little bit of weight out. Maybe we're moving it to the back of the box. but you can look us up on Facebook, Dragon Motorsports INC, Dragon Motorsports Incorporated, INC. Like us on Facebook, see what's going on, but if you want to see what's going on, we're pulling in the results. You can look up Dragon Pulls, P-U-L-L-S, Dragon 
Pulls, P-U-L-L-S dot com. Click on the website, click on schedule, scroll down the schedule, you see where we're going to be coming up next. Next Saturday, we got two events, one in Madison at the fairgrounds, and then we're going to also be down in Isle of Wight County at their fair. So next weekend, you got bang for the buck, wherever you want to head to. You can head to Madison or down to Isle of Wight. Two different pools going on. And then that following weekend, we go to Field Day of the Past. Now, that location has been moved from two years ago. The last year was their first year. They're out on Route 360 in Amelia, very close to the Chesterfield County line. The new home of the Field Day of the Past out there in Amelia on Route 360. And that is the following weekend, I think on the 15th and 16th that weekend. But they're going to be pulling Friday night, all day Saturday, Saturday night, antique tractor Saturday and Sunday. And then we'll finish up the Dragon Motorsports Point Series. We're going to be at Miller's Tavern. I want to make sure it's on the 23rd. 23rd and 24th, 24th Miller's Tavern, Four Southern months. Showdown. We, we just created the uh, flyer. We got one more flyer to make for the, printer, uh, for the printers. 23rd uh, and the 24th. We'll add that to the schedule of WWP TV on Facebook really soon. West of Tappahannock. Just, just jump on Ted Ingram, Acme Rocket, coming out of Dillwyn in Buckingham County. At the Southern Called Showdown. the Acme Rocket. That is on the 23rd and 24th. But you can also look us up on Facebook. Keep up on there. Also, if you want to know more about truck and traffic pulling and what's going on in the big world of pulling, you can also see the DVDs or anything that you have with pulling at WWP TV. WWP TV. Get on YouTube, type that in, come up a whole lot of stuff. Wheels down here tonight doing the video, along with all the videos for Dragon Motorsports and the NTPA and the Interstate. So you've got a large selection of pulls throughout to be able to watch the DVDs or the, or the shows that you can't make it and you might be able to pay per view and be able to sit home and watch it at your leisure. Just do your best, man. That's all I ever Registration, let y'all know, is closed. Huh? We didn't already know it. You hadn't, hadn't signed up. Ted Ingram on the Acme Rocket on a 8600 Ford out of Dillwyn, I'm sorry, New Canton, Virginia. No. This tractor put him on the number one spot. Had a had a hired gun do the driving Guaranteed. last week. Put this tractor the number one spot down in Orange. Because I do have the Ted best fans in the world. A bit better all of you guys. Amazing. Me Facebook, Rocket. YouTube, all of you. On the Ford. How about it, Ford tractor fans? Where are you? Oh, we got a few, not too many. I thought if you were a Ford fan, you were a Ford fan. Watch the smoke, a little bit light colored as they bring up the RPMs, rolling in the fuel. Some drone shots from Pixel Hunters. 315, 315, 76, 31576. Ted Ingram. He was literally 10 foot from us. Look at this. Look at how far the pan is up off the ground. Look at that. That's, a, that's what the wheels do. The wheels raise it up that much. It's got grouser bars in the rear as well. Cold water. But he put it out here, 315. 
This is uh, Mike Runkle's Old Smokey. It's an Oliver 88, 5.9 Cummins. Darren Criffield, C R I H. F I L F I E L D. Criffield. This is a, uh, they don't run this uh, tractor for points. But it's a, I do know it's a 5.9 Cummins. It's got that sound. Mike's also out of that uh, Buena Vista area. Isn't he out of Buena Vista? Yeah, I've been playing with it a little bit on the air pressure. Is he out of Buena Vista? I'm probably running about seven and a half pounds, so. We don't know. Yeah, we take it. Darren Crisfield. No, no. Tentatively, he's out of uh, Buena Vista, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. On an Oliver sheet metal on a five nine Cummins. Four hundred and sixty six cubic inch limit. Six cylinder diesel. sitting down there, you hear him kind of like a deep tone. He starts bringing up the RPMs. He has a three-disc centrifugal clutch, these drivers, and that left foot is trying to hold it down. As he brings up the RPMs, you'll watch him. Smoke's going to be a little bit light color, sort of getting darker and darker. Darren Critfield on the old Smokey. Six one six two eighty two eighty six sixteen. 
our Darren on the old Smokey. Look at that thing. It didn't blow up. It didn't lick fire. It did really good. Ricky Tavener coming up right now out of Berryville, Virginia. Case IH MXM 175. He calls it the Red Tornado. $15 in advance and $20 at the gate. They are here over there by the fire truck. Had some rough runs last week at uh, Orange. Volunteer fire department. Up on the wheels. High up in the air. 303, I believe, is what he went. And then uh, his stable mate Cody Anderson had a rough run, too. And then uh, Ricky Tavener out of Mike Berryville, Thomas, Virginia. also from Berryville, had a tough run. Let's see if we can get the weight figured out tonight. at home it was it was 30644 puts him right now on the number two spot now these tractors do have individual rear brakes when the front end comes up they'll be able to steer them a little bit pumping the brake a little bit one way or the other anytime that the puller has to touch the brake to make the tractor correct, bring it back. That's it lost in footage. So these pullers want to make sure that they want a good straight run, stay off that brake, because it does count at the end of the run. You have a little bit less footage. 
Bradley Field out of Madison on the New Holland. The transfer they call the Mother Long Nightmare. Normally they bring me a plate of ribs, but we didn't get Bob nothing Simmons, Philip tonight. Simmons, Jerry Smith, Mike Shiplett, and Matthew Finn. Those five out here tonight. They said they try to then mix right it up a little that bit. That class will go into the 10,000 pound Super Pro Farm. The E.L. Hollow, Dustin Reynolds, Chad Nelson Rose, Christy Martin, Thurman Mumford, and then Bob Martin. Now you're taking the tractor that comes out of the off the factory showroom or out of the field, stripping it all down as much as they can, take all the hydraulics off and whatever they can take off, they just throw it in the junk pile. Trying to get these tractors weighing in about 8,000 pounds. Sometimes they modify the frame rails, change up a little bit on the box channel. Just basically have a strictly rear end. Now these tractors are taking out all the gears from the factory and putting in about three different gears in the forward motion. Bradley Seal, mother-in-law's nightmare, T7, T70. Coming up right now. When they go to pick a spot or pick a gear, they're figuring out, do I need to run in first gear, which is 26%, or I need to run something that's a little bit slower, a little bit faster. And they make those decisions based on how the track can Bradley said, we need, well, we need to go to Diesel's in Dark Corners. I said, here okay. Tonight. He said, you, you're more than welcome to come with me. I said, okay. They got Having plenty of run. media guys down there. They got beer money. They got Diesel built mafia. The stock motor. But what the are we going to do? He said, you just own me. Diesel. I said, okay. He said, but we got to go by Twin Peaks and eat some wings. I said, okay. What is that? He says, like Hooters. I said, all right. So we can, we now might go to Diesel's in Dark Corners here. Check their hitches. 20 inch on the hitch height. And they'll try to balance the tractor out if they want to move some weight to the front or back to the middle of the tractor or the belly of the tractor or back over the axle. They have that option. A lot of times these weights are anywhere between 75 and 100 pounds each that they can move around and try to balance out the tractor. But right now, Bradley Seal on the new Holland. Ted Ingram right now at the 315.76, the 315 mark. Setting the leader marker with two to go in the class. I think we're near where I go. Now I got one almost ready to go to college. I think they colored it. Seven, 77, 317, 77 for Bradley Seal coming out of Madison. Good enough right now to put him in the number one spot. 317.77. Good run for Bradley Seal right there. He takes over the number one spot. 
David Reed coming up next, doing the driving on the head case. International, your last puller in the class. Now you're taking the tracks about 30 some feet wide. Puller has to wherever he wants to start the sled, wherever he wants to go. Now here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. When you've got a tractor that just went in the lead and went down this side, you go, what do I do? Do I move over? Do I run one side? Do I run in the same groove? Here's the old saying. You can be a hero or zero and run somewhere else. And if somebody's already shook the trees at 317, by golly, we're going to try to run right in his track and see if we can pick up a one when he runs. 315 went to the right hand side. Now a 317. We'll see what David Reed is going to run. Oh, David Reed is going to be driving for Steve down. Flint tonight on the head case. Steve Flint is taking a break and David Reed is pulling for him. That's good. He's one of his crewmates. Hey, I'm just telling you guys, if y'all ever get you know, involved old, old in the sport, say, join a crew. You never know. You might get called exactly to pull a tractor. Yeah, we're going to try to you might not just have to turn wrenches on them. You don't learn that in school anymore, do you? Hey, to let y'all know, kids, the governor just put out a thing on the news. I don't know if y'all said, kids, where are all the kids at? Where are all the kids? They're going to school. The governor said, no school Monday. No school Monday. No school on Monday. But you got to go on Tuesday. If you're a teacher in, the, in here, Lord have mercy. And if you're a parent and you got kids going to school, thank you, Jesus. So David David uh, Wood is a uh, somebody asked me to David to Reed I said, yes. is Come on the crew for time. the head case. It won't for me. For Steve Flint, there he is in the more. seat. There's David Wood, uh, David Reed. He's a crewmate. So Steve Flint said, you know what, David, you're gonna drive it tonight. He's pulled it before. I think he pulled it at Harrisonburg just a few weeks ago. David Reed doing the driving on the Steve Flint tractor on the head case out of Natural Springs. Virginia down there on Interstate 81. You get off there, run on by. If you know where the zoo is, you go right on down past the zoo about two miles and you turn left and you run right up in there in the David spot. come up here and show proof that it's your key, I'll give it to you. David Reed pulling the head the case, case IH, MX275 for Steve Flint coming out of the natural bridge. We just did their uh, team shirts last year. Tough competitor right here, David doing the driving. And then he See, wanted he to go to Gordyville, so he, he became one a five-time points How champion, so we did him again. Where are you? You gotta help him out. Last tractor in the class. Three one seven 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 for Bradley Seal, setting him right now on the number one spot. Can he do it, Case fans? Can he do it? Three seventy is what he's got to be. What do y'all think? We got him with him. 
that show? Green light, green flag, red tractor, let's go. International fans, can he do it? Watch him. Sitting in the seat, I think about a couple, I think this might be his third or fourth time sitting in the seat doing the driving on the head case international. Three ten forty seven three. We are flying the drone tonight as well. We actually have we have two drones in the air. This is Pixel Hunters, Hunter uh, Hunter Smith. He is a one hundred seven certified pilot. He's flying mine, and he's flying his. His dad's flying his. Congratulations, Bradley Seal, winner winner chicken dinner on that T7 270. Mother-in-law's nightmare coming out of Madison. Bradley right there. Look at Bradley, everybody. Hey, Bradley! Good job. All right. Bradley Seal, there he is. Big winner tonight. Coming out of Madison. Yes, sir. Well, now we're going to run 62,000, uh, 6,200 pounds. Not 62, Good tonight. 6,200 pounds sports of 4x4. If you find a 62,000 pound truck, just let me know. Don't forget those young girls are going the, around uh, selling 50 50 raffle tickets. That's the Mark of the Lux Stone hauling uh, rock. Help a young girl that's going 6, to 6,200 pounds sports of 4x4. It's the same as a national class, treatment. except so it's running a wedge motor. To help, help her, help her family. So if they come by, reach in your pocket, pull out a five dollar bill and buy six tickets. Hey, we're doing a good job. We're doing, doing good work. See if you can bring home the money. Hope you're uh, hope you're enjoying yourself tonight. down to Lumberton, North Carolina next week, Friday and Saturday night. Should we go? Let us know. I think we're going to go. Friday night, Saturday night. 
Uh, honestly, the paid gigs don't come around too much. So it's paid gig. We're going down. A puller's paid us to come down. I'm going to make sure I, I have rights to go down there. Talk to the UPOC guys this week. We got guys from North Carolina coming, from uh, Vermont coming, Ohio coming down to pull in the mini rod class. It should be a big weekend next weekend in Lumberton. Pray that we have good weather. Pray that we have good weather. And then uh, I'll keep you posted. I'll share the poster. I know my buddy Jeremy Tyndall was doing the flyer for that event. I'll be sure to share it on the panel. You hitting home, damn brother? Good night. Is, is it past your bedtime and you got to go to bed? I just say it's terrible, isn't it? Got to work for a living. Oh, here he comes. Look at, look at him go. Yeah, don't say nothing to that woman. That woman got me in trouble about 36 years ago. Bradley Seal. Big winner here tonight in Farmville in the 7,800-pound light You know why I got in trouble? Because she said I do, and I didn't know I could. <laughs> yeah, what you hear is John Nickel. He ran in the uh, VA Modified class as Loose Change. All the way from Burrowsville, he's our announcer. Now we're in the Sportsman 4x4 class. They crashed it. Sisters, well, then they got one of those cousins, dogs, those dogs, drone dogs, and they sent that in there, and they saw that the actual drone Bob wasn't that damaged. Doing the driving on the Chevrolet. Nuclear facility. He was impressed. That young fellow doing he, the uh, driving on the foolish He inspects those facilities. Those two on the first two foot. Be a little bit of noise out here tonight. 650 cubic inches. Naturally aspirated wedge, but non-hemi. Motor class. Bring it up the RPMs, go clear it out, take it on. for Bob Simmons. They're putting the leader marker down. I think the sled is set. Sponsored by DuPont Pioneer. Right product, right, C, right acre. T-Series so, uh, DuPont. 30.5. Just got the speed. Also sponsored by Conamera General Contractors. 30. Residential and commercial. One down the track so far the night. 318.62, and I believe he's gonna keep it. 318.62. You don't turn a good spoon run like that. Yeah, we're working on the drone video. That's why we got the drone guys out here. We're trying to figure out how to incorporate them into the live stream. So, the, they don't just have a replay. They also have the audio built in with it. Time. I have an idea. We're going to try it. Matthew Fence, those five. Give me a few weeks on that. Because we got to think about it. But I have an idea. I think it's going to work. Of course, we're going to have to spend some money. But... Share this video. Help us make some of that money. So that we can do the things that you guys like. Like incorporating your own video. Not just on YouTube videos and Facebook. But also on live stream. Man, that must be some Mountain Dew water there. That homegrown water. Like 
Dr. Zane Torrance, Reed in forehand, J.B. Ramsey Logan, Carlisle Auction, Farmers Co-op, Buckingham Cattlemen's Association, Faraby Johnson, Forest Hill Endonautics, Endonautics, Southside Livestock, Crossroads Family Dentistry, Perry and Woolwine Family Dentistry, Colonial Farm Credit, Balding Equipment, Maze Lawn Care, Kyanite, Periodontal Health Associates, Performance Counts, James River Equipment, and Pearson Equipment. Well, hell, we can, we got, come here, buddy. Come here. Look. The one and only Jeff Gordon. How you doing there, buddy? Hey, I saw you out there in Bowling Green. I saw you had a little trouble with your truck. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here in the next couple of weeks on the, uh, the cut list? <laughs> you don't want to say anything. Oh, messing with basement. Coolest plunger coming out of Quentin, Virginia. Oh, we're having fun here in Farmville. It's a great poll if you've never been to a poll live. This is a really good poll to come to. A lot of people to celebrate it with. Probably about three, maybe two thousand people. On the foolish pleasure out of New Kent. Set on those wheels, how those rear wheels are closer to the body than the front. We figured it out on some of these trucks, they actually have an extra eight inches of offset that, that equates to 16 inches of dirt, fresh dirt that those uh, those rear tires are getting. So that's why they do that offset. Just to, the more you know, the more you learn about pulling. The truck coming up next. He's took off and somehow or another, somewhere around that 100, 150 foot mark, she just had the blaze of glory. And down the track he went. Thing caught on fire right there at the fuel tank. We started calling the ghost rider. He's the old ghost. AKA the MacGyver. AKA fix anything that's got and it's broke. If it ain't got wheels on it, he'll put wheels on it and still work on it. Jerry Smith coming up next on his dodge on the old goat. That'll be Mike Shiflett, old Studebaker on the Ford coming up next. And then Matthew Finn on the Chevrolet. Those three to go here in the class. Roger. Talking about Bowling Green, Ohio, the big pull town USA. The best of the best, the toughest of the toughest. This truck right here coming out, I think it finished up, what, 17, 14, 15? 15th out of 32 trucks. Halfway in the field with a non-hemi motor. Tough competitor. Looks like we got the old goat, Jerry Smith, coming up right now. Coming out of Brightwood. Some of y'all remember, he caught on fire here last year. 
and it was about a hundred foot he got the fire and he carried it all the way to the wind. Johnny, is it about a 638? About a 638 cubic inch motor. The brains of the outfit is right there. That young boy right there, he is, he's cracking jack. Mathematician. In your frame, you got Chad Seal in the white shirt, Michael Shiflett in the pink crew shirt and green know. hat, and then Jerry Smith in the old goat. Look at him go. After that thing got squared away and put on again, a little crack in the motor. He still got something up on that high side, sound clear. 321.74. Putting him on the number one spot. Matthew Fan on the Chevrolet. 
a couple of molars left in the sportsman class. Hey, did you guys see the uh, the commercial for this pole? Let me know. I, I mean, I, I, I did everything that they wanted for it. I hope you enjoyed it. Do, do those commercials help you to know what's coming? Get you excited about an upcoming pole? Let me know. I don't have a class rundown. Don't be sitting there hungry. Let's see, let's look at the stats. 372, but we'll call 400 people tuned in. Thanks for tuning in. The uh, Facebook page for uh, this league, Dragon Poles, is Dragon Motorsport Space Space INC. Don't like that page. And I'll try to post photos to their upcoming events to their uh, the page for this event is the Appomattox Young Farmers Go like that page. M &M and if you don't have if you don't like our page already, I'm telling you something WFP TV video. And we put video just because we're starting to cover more motorcycles, dirt drags, drag racing. A lot more things. We wanted to leave it a little bit more generic, so we changed it. The WWP TV video. If you've got a better name for the, the channel for me, let me know because I'm open to it. They say it's tough to pronounce in Germany, the way it translates. So maybe we need to come up with something else. I don't know. And it's fifteen and the fans twenty at the gate. All starting at two p.m. October. The first gates open at noon. The rodeo at 2 p.m. Michael Shiflett coming up on the clear cut. Coming up out of uh, St. Stephen's Church, Virginia, just outside of Tappahannock, by about, I would say, 10 miles east of Tappahannock, uh, west of Tappahannock. Michael Shiflett. We got anybody out here to ever own a 1944? Logging in a home. You ever ridden in Call one? it clear cut. You had one, sir? I bet I bet you didn't have a motor like this one. This motor is a Sunny 650 cubic inch. I don't know if it's 650 or not. But oh, it's a wedge motor. Made that. by Sunny's right out of Lynchburg, Virginia. And I bet it won't that color either. It was black, wasn't it?
321. That's what I'm talking about. The Ford taking it on home. There you go, Michael Shiflett. Well, we got one more to go, though. One more to go. 30.7 miles per hour. That is the fast run so far tonight. There you go. Good run. Right down the right side. Let me tell you, I ain't speaking out of school, but them guys back here ain't pulled yet. This right hand side might be where it's at. I don't know. 323 31. Matthew Fans coming up next. Well, they are digging deep too. Look, I'm going to show you something. There's actually grass shavings right there in the uh, track. They are digging down in this dirt. I'm telling you what, boys. You see them? Can you see the little the grass shavings? They are digging down deep in this uh, Farmville track, getting everything they can out of it. About a 330 foot track's all we got tonight. I've seen them go through 40 here. Ray Watts and Bain Ride Out. We want to run your trucks right after the, the four-wheel drive before the 10th. All right, you heard it. The, the mega the trucks are coming out right after this. And main ride out, go ahead and get your monster trucks up in the staging area. We've got one more truck to go on the four-wheel drive, and then we'll run the mega trucks. Then we'll add a little bit of weight in the sled and go to the 10,000-pound Super Pro Farm for so Ray Watts and Bain Ride Out, we're going to run those two trucks coming up next. I'm going to sit down for a second and relax. We'll be in Madison next weekend. If you hear my voice and you're from Madison or around that area, go check out that tractor pull. It's got a really cool benefit uh, to someone who needs our help. So go there, pay the money, buy an extra ticket. I don't care, just help out the cause. Someone's in need there. Go look at the uh, Madison Young Farmers page and they'll tell you who the benefit is for. But I know it's going to be a good time in Madison. I think it's one of the longest running polls in Virginia. Most, on the truck they call the Big Show. Might be close, but Madison's been running Virginia. for like 49 years. Right now. On the clear cut, Michael Shiflett, 323.31. Set your leader marker with one to go here left in the class. Michael Shiflett on the lead right now. Matthew Finn says, I got something. Let's see what, we'll see if he can do it. Watch him see if he can get it on the takeoff. 
get a good smooth run on the truck they call the Big Show. Good looking rear end on that truck. If this was a uh, 62 National truck, they added a wedge motor to it. We're going to rework the truck, the track, and then get the mega truck going. Enjoyed the 62 National Sportsman. Coming up next on the now Mega Monster the mega truck. truck. Main ride out and Ray Watts, those two out here tonight. Just got two, they're both uh, Chevy and they're both red. One's actually called Big Red, and one is uh, a main ride out who pulled his John Deere 44, I think it's 4455 earlier in the farm class. mega trucks no real rules on this class they just take an old mud, mud, mud truck stiffen up the suspension a little bit and they raise the hitch height so they can get some nice wheelies and they can adjust the hitch height it's not a uh, fixed hitch hit height if they want to do better wheelies they can lower it they can want to do better pulls they can raise it
number two spot right there, Mike Shiplett on the clear cut forward. Main ride out, Anna Jarrett on the mega monster truck with the Chevrolet. He's gonna come right at you, Cole. Four point four zero for Bain right out. Ray Watts coming up next. This is right don't matter. It's all about style. You're gonna see a lot of smoke on the diesel. Eighty-four, eighty-five. I believe. Would you tell me, Will? This truck's got how many views on YouTube? A thousand, four thousand, four hundred thousand, four million. Four million views from Lynchburg and beyond on this truck right here. That was from the Lynchburg Bull. Big red, what's, we what's call that a, Like a penny of you? Yeah. <laughs> less than that? Less than a penny? Ray Watts out of Crew, Virginia on the Durham map. We got talking about mega trucks and they talking about gas burners and all this stuff. Ray comes on out here with a diesel. And then we'll see what this thing Ray is. just bought this thing back. He sold it last year and, and he rebought it because he missed it so much. And then uh, I, I, this is a sidebar and I don't, you know what? I'm not going to tell that. But he sold the truck and he bought it back. He said, hey, look, he's also into the drag racing stuff a little bit. They do the Dominion. Uh, Bandit top five, the top ten list, and all that stuff. He raising that too. Oh my gosh, they got some cars for that. I'm telling you. But right now he's got his big red, called it the Chevy Duramax. Coming out of Crew, Virginia, just outside of Victoria. We'll be in Virginia, uh, Victoria, in a few weeks. What do you uh, call that thing? Big Red.
we'll get into the Super Pro Farms after that, and then the 8,000 pound Hot Street Diesel 4x4s, and then the Street Gas and Street Diesel. That'll round out our night. And we'll go live again in 1080p on Monday night, the whole show. Done up by Davis Off Road out of Richmond, Virginia. Hey, it is slow and steady. Trucks going wild. Yes, sir. That's what we did right there. Trucks going wild. They have appeared on Trucks Going Wild on the pad down there. All over the place for Trucks Going Wild. Getting the Giving them the guys some views. There he is, Ray Watts. You see him. times in a truck will get a wolf whistle a cat call but you got it here tonight i'm telling that you that thing is nice a little 4.36 on her and it doesn't yeah we're going to add a little weight to the sled now we're going to get into the super pro farm swinging in 10,000 pounds 20 inch on the hitch height that's 540 cubic inch and a six cylinder on diesel Wind down the show out here tonight. 
So if you're one of our sponsors out here, thank you for helping out to put all this truck and tractor pull. Once again, this is the Appomattox Young Farmers truck and tractor pull. The money that they make out here goes right back into the community through the scholarship program that they have for anybody that goes back in goes to college in the agriculture science. They have scholarships there. Also, they help out the FFA and the 4-H club. Also, Gleaning for the World Church Organization that helped in the disaster. They just went down to Kentucky and helped fed a bunch of people through their storm. And All right, there you go. Now we got this super pro part there. I see him fired up. Hey, I don't know if you're on my profile, but uh, also on Facebook, uh, the WWE TV page, we showed uh, Thurman Mumford at the uh, Sandrags last week, right before he blew a turbo at Orange. But, yeah, he ran 50 some odd miles an hour on an eighth of a mile. And he, I think he did it in about five seconds. That's pretty cool. A lot of people are saying, well, I wonder what these tractors are doing on a dirt drag, a uh, drag race track. Well, sand drag is probably the, be the best equivalent that they can do without changing tires. like we got uh, EO Harlow coming first. We were just at his place last week. I think 27,000 people tuned in and watched it on YouTube. Thank you for all those, those likes and watches. Uh, Orange was a success. We did some decent drone video. I only did a few runs on that, that class. But, um, yeah, we had a good video drone, uh, at Orange. This is where EO Harlow comes from. And they had a, a decent crowd. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the worst. But uh, we need to do better. If y'all y'all can hear my voice, and y'all can come out to say, come on out. But you know you're going to get good video coverage. If I share it a bit, do your best to get to it if you're in Virginia. Here he comes, E.L. Harlow. They call the Harlow Harvester out of Orange, Virginia. Moving that sled over to the left center of the track. Maybe something there that he's seeing that somebody else hadn't seen all night. That's where he's the first puller. If he makes a good run, keep it, or we'll see how it works out, or if he can turn it down and come back and try it again. Good running tractor. This thing came off the factory line somewhere probably about a little bit less than 150 horsepower. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's 1,200 to the rear wheels. You're talking about you just don't run right on over there to your local auto parts store and pick up some parts. You've got to have some major serious engine work. And the gentleman right across the street, Performance County, uh -huh. does a lot of work on these tractors on the cylinder head probably done most of these tractors out here. On the performance counts. Hill Hollow. Six cylinder diesel. She just sit there just curving a little bit light colored smoke. Anywhere. Anywhere on this side of the He brings up the RPM. He's gonna reach down and pull on that lever and all the fuel going to the pump and kind of weaned it out a little bit. Locking in on the road gear. Now you might see a little bit of fire when he goes to take off and all of a sudden it goes out. That's where he's rolling in up on the RPMs and the water injection is turning on. Watch him. Let's see if he can pick that front end up and tear it down 100 feet.
smells just like a super farm. I'm telling you what, these things are highly tuned. International John Deere, we got them a little bit of all of them. We're gonna see if we might have to make a call here. Kevin, he's keeping it. Yes, sir. He said, yep, 322.80. Keeping that hook for the Harlow Harvester. Dustin Reynolds on the pull in teeth. Coming up next. And then to be Chad Nelson Road on the recap this. Christy Martin on the one this cap. Red, 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 green, red, red. In the class. I don't know if you're seeing red, but I am. And the uh, the lady who's been doing registration, Christy Martin, she's going to be Mike pulling that Street John Deere one. Go she ahead came, and get she them came in, in second place last week. Working your way. Dustin Reynolds came in first last all week. The hot and Bob diesels. Martin of the Martin Pulley team, all three of them, he came in fourth. So they got a little something going on. Dustin Reynolds is the endodontist here, at, uh, well, just outside of Lynchburg. Uh, so. I mean, that's why there's so many dental sponsors for this event. And his tractor's called Pulling Teeth. That's what he does in real life. And that's what he does on the track. Dustin Reynolds on the Pulling Teeth International. Dustin's Fan Club. Where's Dustin's Fan Club? Right there. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you, this is one tough little tractor right here. He's a little bit shorter on the cubic inches. He's run 466. A little small motor versus that 540. A little bit different. He can weigh just a little bit more. Now we run 10,000 pounds on the light pro on the uh, super pro farm, and he can weigh up to 10.5, which he's right there at the mark. Coming out of Lynchburg. Pulling teeth, international. We got a little bit of ace chassis work in the uh, couple off seasons ago. Mike Stinson just outside of Nashville. Getting it all squared away. Dustin sitting in the seat. On the tractor they call pulling teeth. Reynolds pulling teeth. Put him on the number one spot last weekend in Orange on the International.
099 for Dustin Reynolds. Ken Nilsenberg. Recap this out of Second place so far. Point. There you go. You see his, you see his skid marks right there. Guys like those doggos in the. Uh, oh, the <laughs> I bet you can't get within five feet of that door. Ah, uh, Jerry Smith and Copper, what a combination! It is. Chad Nezero coming out of Harrisonburg, Big L Tire. He's one of the few sponsors we have. He helps us out with tires every now and then. We don't try to go to him too much, but we got a brand new set at Goodyear, so we really like. It. But he has helped, he's put a couple set of tires on our truck, trying to keep us rolling. And he said, anything I can do to help you keep on coming out. That's my, that's my man, Chad Nelson Road. So if you got some, uh, a very clean looking semi residential, get there a little bit early, walk in the light walk duty, around these agricultural, very he's got all your tire needs. Six Virginia locations, two in Harrisburg, down. one in Elkton, Warsaw, Lynchburg, and this is no lie. He gets back in the back when he's finished pulling, sprays it all down, wipes it all down, and then he puts the white gloves on. And it shows. This tractor's won best in show at Keystone now, before. Want to be able to sit down on the rear tire, Chad has also sponsored up, that event at Keystone and or National. Hole a little bit smooth and then lay back down. green flag for Chad.
Uh, businesses. Fear Force runs all October long. It's a uh, scare fest. They got like a Nerf corn maze. You can shoot zombies and all kinds of stuff. They got a, I don't know if they got a haunted house or not. I think they do. Fear Force.net, I believe, is your location for that. They call the Wampus Cat. Christy Martin. Put her on the number two spot in Orange last weekend and went to John Deere and see what she can work out here tonight. Long time puller. Pulled antique tractors years back and then went into the diesel truck. Got out of that. Then jumped there on you the see John Chrissy Deere in the John Deere roll cage with her pink helmet. Chrissy's been doing the driving. Driving from Randy Tate turning the wick up in his Wampus cat. The story is. His parents used to say, hey, boys, y'all don't go too far out of the yard now. That Wampus kind of get you. And they obey him. And so that's how the tractor got the name Wampus Cat. Wampus Cat. And he used to drag uh, drag racing. And so he he had that track, that uh, vehicle name on all his endeavors. And then Randy kind of is uh, under the weather. So he uh, he said, you know what? I'm going to turn the reins over to Chrissy. And Chrissy's been pulling this year. Chrissy Martin, Wampus Cat, John Deere, Super Pro Farm Edition. Put together by Ace Chassis out of just outside of Nashville. Yeah, it does. 
number three right now. Mechanical Bull, Thurman Mumford coming up next. The uh, Sand Dragon, Thurman Mumford, Mechanical Bull. The Thurman Mumford on the 50 mile an hour. They ran about 30, 31, 30 uh, mile an hour on the pull track. He ran 54 on the Sand Drag track just a few weeks ago. Hot Street Diesel, four wheel drive. Get him in line. Travis Hudson. Stephen Garnett, Jamie Donati, Richard Wilkerson, who's the first four, then Eddie Ford, Dylan Carp, Josh Graham, Dakota Thompson, and Brent Tupelo. You say you can actually Google it and go run uh, Google uh, Naples, Florida. You would see this uh, track to run down there in Florida with these side shields. Right now, Chad's got a good run. Three, then he bought 20, this tractor four, a while four, back. It was from Donnie West. It was called the Wild Wild this West, the and then he put his side shields on it. Last weekend in Orange, kind of. And now the original mechanical bull is still technically Junior's mechanical. Well, what they call it, the bull-headed binder, or whatever they call it. But Junior passed away his son last year, uh, so a lot of these tractors, this one will have in memory of Thurman Junior. Junior out here tonight, Billy. Billy Rice on the Lights Out International. He had some trouble last weekend but on that, the uh, injection pump. Bullheaded binder was the Sent original the mechanical bull. And now Both it runs in that uh, 8,500 pound light pro class. Transport. Billy's not here tonight. Thurman Mumford on the mechanical bull.
30881 for Thurman Mumford. Look at those. Then there's one. That's the tire sign that they put on it, and it's coming off as they spin out. Not only him, but his whole crew out here making this work with the Appomattox Young Farmers. There's Bob Martin and the ball team. Team, a lot of them out here volunteering their time, making things work, donating equipment. These rollers and the operators, tractor down there, the scraper, right contractors, making everything work out here, along with the equipment on the ground. This motor grader, water truck. It takes a lot to put on the pull, and it takes about a year of planning to make sure everything is squared away. And all of our sponsors that help. Put on this pool as far as advertising, we thank them. If you see them or you do business with them, thank them. So look, I went to the truck and tractor pool the other night. We had a very good time. Thank you for helping out the young farmers of Appomattox Young Farmer Group because that money that they're making out here tonight will go right back into your community. You've got a high school student getting ready to graduate this coming year. Remember, Appomattox Young Farmers, if they're looking at going into the agriculture or agricultural science field through college you need to talk to these young farmers about the scholarship program that they have and you apply for that also the 4-h local 4-h club in the ffa for their sponsorship and helping out these young men and women of the farmers to be in the ffa coming into the future of our organization Making things grow and keeping it growing. I tell you what, show me a hand if anybody's ever been in the FFA or the 4-H. The FFA or the 4-H. I can tell you, I was in the FFA. I was sitting on anybody, everybody going through the bottom of procedure. Do the FFA of the 4 H Club, thank you. Always sponsor, always help out through that. Facebook advertising for them. They did some radio. 
And they were handing out flyers. I'm telling you, they were passing them out like chickens. So kudos to these guys at the pack house last weekend. But right now, he's looking to see if he can get his red international on get number one. Well, you know, Highland, I've been there a few weeks ago. We need to show you that video. We'll, we'll do that soon. Very soon we'll show you that video. Um, but yeah, I'd already been there. And um, I love going to Highland. But they, they, we only been to this pole. They, they only have this pole one time a year. So they called me pretty early in the game. Uh, I think back in June and told me they wanted me to come out and work on all their stuff. So that's what we're doing. Here we are filming for them. Crank the bright the brightness so up so you can actually see the. I might leave it like that. Thirty point three. Thirty point three on the speed. Twenty seven. That's your winner right there, Bob Martin. Justin Reynolds on the bull in T5, and Thurman Mumford on the mechanical bull 6 out here tonight. I know, you blame that one on the EL. Alright, good fun here at Farmville. Good crowd tonight. They're, they're sitting on top of fire trucks, bleachers, lawn chairs, I mean, you name it. Each other's laps, I'm telling you. 8,000 pound hot diesel. Next class up, hot street diesel. Get them in line. Hot street diesel, four wheel drive. Get them in line. Travis Hudson, Stephen Garnett, Jamie Donati, those are your first three out here tonight. Zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on. Travis Hudson, he came to me for a logo last year. Well, I guess it was earlier this year. Hudson Cattle Company, they loved it so much. They put it on hats and shirts and jackets and all kinds of stuff. Real simple, a couple of cows, a mama cow and a baby cow. Hudson Cattle Company, real simple. I got it done, they loved it. We we'll love hot street diesel, then we'll go Here to the comes. street gas. Travis Hudson. And then street diesel. And on his murder gen. The last three classes Dodge, that we have out here third, tonight. Uh, third gen, I believe.
2,000 pound hot speed diesel, Travis Hudson, coming out of Caroline County, Virginia. Travis Hudson on the heifer hauler on a 2013 ramp. On the hot street diesel. If we're not talking a thousand horsepower, 282.23. 282.23. Two he's turning it down. He needs a good run on it. He said for the rest of the year, I'm just. I'm tuning on it. Farm use, yes, sir. I don't know if it's on the limiter or not. He he has done everything he can think about to not be up on it, but he just uh, it's it's uh, it's got this miss in it somewhere. I don't know if it can keep the turbo lit or what it is. Not a terrible run. He's going to drop it, come back, do it again. Stephen Garnett coming up next on bonus money, 6-6 six, six bonus money on TikTok. He's a, he, he'll tell you everything about building a pulling truck. This is a dedicated pulling truck. It is street legal, but he can divert uh, his exhaust however he wants. But he'll tell you everything about, everything you want to know about pulling the diesel truck on TikTok. Following him, really good information. Bonus 
money. Oh my. Six six bonus money. He's got his little sticker in the window there. Three one four point one nine. Three fourteen one nine. Three fourteen nineteen. Not bad run for Stephen Garnett. Three fourteen point one nine for Stephen Garnett. Oh, Jamie Donati on the dodge coming up next. On the Gapplebee's Dodge. Jamie Donati. Coming out of the Amelia area. This thing gets all beat up. You're going to see it on, on our side of the truck. But it's a strong runner. It's down in the seventh on the eighth of a mile. Number one right there in the class, Bob Martin on the Boss Hog Binder International. Putting him on the number one spot out here tonight. That's a touchy moment right there. Dustin Reynolds, hometown boy. Hometown man, I should say. On the pulling teeth. Waving to his faithful. I really do like the setup, how the tractors and trucks roll back down the, to the pits this way. It does remind me of Europe. Then it'll be Richard Wilkerson, Eddie Ford as your next three in line. Backing into the sled, Jamie Donati. This uh, Hot Street Diesel class is a $1,000 per class, and I believe uh, it's getting an extra, uh, extra $500. All Dragon classes are getting an extra $500. So that will be spread apart. The various pullers. Eight trucks, I believe they said in the class. Uh, Greg Ford coming up next. Well, Eddie Ford coming up next. I mean, these trucks are all north of a thousand horsepower. And then we'll have street gas and street diesel. 9.30. We might be out here in an hour. Who knows? Richard Wilkerson coming up next on the GMC. 
on the Watts Towing sponsored Skip It. Coming up next. Then after Richard comes Eddie Poor on the Black Betty and Dylan Carp on the his Dodge. Josh Graham on the Duramax. Richard Wilkerson coming up now, yeah. right here out of Farmville, Skippy. It's a 05 Duramax, 06 Duramax. I don't know that I'm going down for that. I know they got something in middle of October. If I can figure it out, we might work something out. It's a Zellwood. Guys like those replays okay I mean I don't know I think I think they're pretty cool about 500 people tuned in on Facebook and YouTube more uh, on YouTube thanks for tuning in I appreciate you Richard Wilkerson, a.k.a. Skippy, 05 Duramax. I know, but... Hey, Mason tightened up on him. <laughs> hey, Temple's let him run. Hey, Stephen had, Stephen had a good run. Skippy, 318. 31827 31827 for uh, Richard Wilkerson. We call him Skippy. That's what the license plate says. To be 84 on the Black Betty out of Crew, Virginia. Your next floor. And then Dylan Carp on the Dodge. So we, I was talking to Temple Brisson down about the Southern Showdown. Facebook, WWP TV, Dragon Motorsports, Space, Space, INC. We'll add the event this week. It's going to be September 24th. Uh, 23rd and 24th of September. Uh, that Friday night is going to start at 7 p.m. That Saturday night is going to start at... I'm sorry. Friday night is going to start at 7 p.m. Saturday night is going to start at 5 p.m. And uh, so it, I was talking to Temple, so that means his son, Mason Brisson, that was run, is running the sled right now. They call him the little pup. The little pump. This dog hunts too, I tell you. 
Hey, we need we need pullers. We need young pullers. We need them to operate the sleds, pull vehicles, work tracks. We need young people. Here comes uh, Eddie Four on Black Betty. Is it really Eddie Four? I haven't seen Greg today. Looks like Greg in the seat. I believe we're going to be streaming the Southern Showdown. It's probably going to be pay per view. Uh, we'll probably do whatever the ticket price is. We'll do the same ticket price. We'll probably give you a five dollar discount if you buy both nights. Okay. And uh, look, I'm going to donate a large portion of that back to Dragon Motorsports. We got some upgrades that, well, we, they got some upgrades they need to make and we're going to help try, oh, try to help them out as much as we can. Hashtag work truck. 327.79 for 84. 327.79. 327.79 on the uh, Black Betty. Look at that. It is something else. It's stout, boys and girls. I'm... They're filling the 50 50 raffles.
scrambling of the tickets. So if you bought raffle tickets, get your tickets out and get ready to do the drawing. <laughs> no Tesla pulled in there. We're saved from uh, Elon and his whole pull. Yeah, we got gas for uh, gas four by four, street gas next, and then street diesel. The uh, boost hose came off on the uh, turbo. Two forty. Thought he was shooting. Two forty point nine six. Two forty ninety six. Two four zero nine six. For those tuning in at home. Get a blue turbo hose on, won't they? Yeah, it kind of sounded like Mad Mad Max. That old Falcon. Josh Graham on an 05 Duramax coming up next. Poor Boys Toys coming up right now. Coming out of Deerfield. So uh, uh, Josh Graham was flagging at the starting line, and then he came down here. So his dad. 
297.53. That's his dad right there, Kevin Graham. And then Kevin went to a go pull, and Josh came down here and in flag, and then he went back up. Now it's his turn to play. There goes Bradley Seal. Getting on the road. Dakota Thompson on the 97 Dodge. Eddie Ford at that 327.79 mark is sitting the leader marker. Dakota Thompson coming up next. Dakota Thompson, guess who did his weight box? Mr. Dub Dub P Dub Will Witt. That's me. I did it. He said, Will, I need something. I said, he had a dinosaur on the side of it. I said, why you got that dinosaur? He's like, oh man, it's old school cool. So that's what we did. We put a dinosaur on the front, wrapped the, the, the top of the hood. It's got an American flag on it. So we pulled it down to the uh, weight box and then we put a dinosaur on it. Look at it. Old school cool. Look at that dinosaur. It's actually coming out of the turbo. Kind of cool. They love it. Yeah, I was pretty happy how it came out. Send it to a local uh, to run a rap company Dodge. in Harrisonburg area, and they love the detail that we put into this thing. It matches up really good with the hood. He was he was tickled pink. We're happy. It blends right now. I kind of wish the, uh, the the blue part of the hood came down a little bit further, but it is fine. It's the way it worked out. He uh, looked like he lost his front end at uh, Fishersville a few weeks ago, back in uh, early August. Got it all back together. Three twenty four seventy one three two four seven one. Good run for Dakota.
sporting a shirt right there, Ray from Rice. One of the winners on the Kitchen Country radio station call in. Three tickets and a t-shirt. Two to go left in the class. Be Brent. And then Travis. Those two left. Then we'll go into the street gas. Yeah, it's very popular. Uh, there's actually a lot in the uh, Pro Stock four-wheel drive that run a similar combination as well. Trucks is almost out of business. Jay Courtney and some of those old school pullers in Dragon Motorsports, they started running Trucks' tires. They found some and they started pulling those Trucks' tires and then all of a sudden all the pullers started buying them up. Brought the company back to business. Now a lot of guys are running trucks. It's all over the country. Oh, roll. Two ninety two fifty five. You heard it here, two nine two five five. Blower to cool it down. I love it. They're getting everything squared away, doing the raffle in just a few minutes. You got them? Six, six, eight. 
five eight five six 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 eight. Do it, Donna. It don't fit. Travis Hudson coming back on the hook. For Travis Hudson. 282 88. Your top five in the class, Andy Moore on the black Betty. Put him on the number one spot. And then to be Dakota Thompson on the number two spot. Richard Wilkerson on the number three spot. Stephen Garnett on the bonus money four, and Jamie Donati on the Cummins round out your top five. Street gas and then street diesel in just a few minutes. I'm probably going to have to take a little bit of weight out. He won the raffle, that guy in the white shirt there, and then he turned it right back over to the young farmers. That's awesome. Turn your lights off. 
Someone text him and say, hey, look, we don't want you texting to drive, but just turn your lights off. We got a winner on the 50-50. We got a winner. That helps you a whole lot. Letting you know. Oh, yeah. Dream Bowls on the 67 Power Wagon. Tracks already. The Brush Buster. Now we'll tell you, I mean, the fire department back in the day, it was a bad mama job right here. Where's Barney when you need him? JJ the ball. I like him. He's all right. Good-looking machine, too. Hit a tree. Look at the bumper on this. Hey, this is this is that quality pulling truck right here. It's all beat up. Yeah, we'll love headlights. Turn your headlights off, me. Hey, look on right here. Johnny Gang Long. Black Betty, look at that Greg Ford. Coming up the sideline right there. Greg Ford on the Black Betty. Put him on the number one spot on the Diesels tonight. Look at those headlights. AC Delco headlights right there. Coming on down. The headlights gave him extra horsepower. Actually, it probably took away about a, a horsepower and a half. Welcome from Texas, I appreciate you. We got Texas, North Carolina, Virginia, South Carolina. All over. We got some racing stripes on there. 247.95 for 247.95 Johnny Gangloff on the Silverado coming up next and Keith Agee pulling for Pete next on deck Video lagging, oh no Let's see if mine is I'm going to refresh the page real quick Thank you. 
pretty good over here. Just about 400 people tuned in right now. Yeah, street diesel. I think that's where we're going to lose parts. Maybe street gas. We all, well, well, that one guy, he didn't do too hot. But we do have the Rotten Pumpkin 2 coming up with Donnie Gorman. That's always a crowd pleaser. West Virginia, I see you, baby doll. Here we go. Usually we have uh, Michael Caldy and Eddie West Virginia tuned in. They're coming from the White Mountains. Johnny Gangloff on an 04 Silver Rider. Another headlight hero here. Come on with it. Your pictures are going to be trash, but. Maybe you get in the money and win some cash. I don't know. They got a passenger in the truck. They need to get anchored. Thank you. Can you turn your head like that? There you go. Thank you. Now put it in gear and take that right foot and stop. I'm telling you, you get an extra horsepower and a half if you turn those headlights out. for that run. He's aging. Pull it from Pete. You're coming up next with Chevrolet. And Donnie Gormas on the Rotten Pumpkin 2. Donnie Gormas, your odds-on favorite in this street gas class. Those are your next three in line. Donnie's got the power of the American flag pushing him around. Oh, look at this guy. What's he got? Pulling for Pete. I see you, baby. Chevy. Not a deal one. Keith Agee. Pulling for Pete. Keith Agee. I Only like Chevrolet. it. Chevrolet. Jackson tuned in. Hey, I want you to get the, the, the one after this one. You can get more. Seven octane sounds like. Oh, Lord, Everett. Shut it down. Pete, you jumped out of, uh, Keith, you jumped out of gear, I believe. I can smell the clutch from all the way over here. <laughs> well, maybe he just took care of the transmission all at one time.
Demo Derby, Kyle Jackson, and the, he announces for the EICPA. Was that East Indiana Polish Association? Eastern Indian, Eastern Iowa. What is that? Yeah. about 75 foot. Pete. Central Iowa. Don't you do e -I -E -I -C -P -A? Also, sometimes E I C P A. I don't know. I try to keep I try to follow you guys. Donnie Gormas. Rotten Pumpkin 2. You got the you got the flag sporting the colors. Central Iowa Bullard. Old Bipster, Kyle Jackson. He's had a little bit of trouble. 61.86. Donnie Gorbis on the Rotten Pumpkin. Come on, straighten up, Donnie. Straighten up. Hey, had no drink yet. <laughs> Dream big, pull hard, that's right. Hey listen, that is a motto for life. If y'all ain't got nothing that's going on in your life, dream big, pull it hard, baby. Come on. Two eighty-eight thirty-two, two eight eight three-two for Donnie Gormas. Look at that. Wait on
Expedition up this
police and the EMS workers, thank y'all for staying in fight. We appreciate what you've done. Alan Shootmaker. On the Chevrolet. W Trucking, Alan Shoemaker. Three twenty-one fourteen, three two one one four. That's your leader right now. We have on the last four in the street gas. Guys are welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. William Humble, 78 Ford. Oh, well, we got a Ford now yep, coming up. We have started the show with a one on this class. No, you're more than welcome. And you got to really need to think, go like and subscribe to the uh, Appomattox Young Farmers page. They're the ones that come over and said, Will, we'd love for you to go live. We got a packed house out here tonight. And they said, Go live, grow yourself. So you guys doing all that, liking, sharing, commenting, it grows us and it ultimately grows all these points. So thank you for that. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the sounds of my voice and the horsepower, the replay. We'll go, we'll go back online uh, and show you the drone footage here pretty soon. Let me know if you would want a full video of just the drone shots. Let me know. Otherwise, we'll interweave them in, maybe one or two shots, three shots, four shots per class. Let me know in the comments. I'll go back and read them. The uh, Facebook page for the uh, drone guys is Pixel Hunters. You can like them too. They do some short montages as well. And they do some other stuff. We are, I think they uh, they got a big event here in a few weeks. They're doing some monster trucks and more including mini mega trucks as well Thirty-two, three, three zero. Your street gas. Yeah, your top three in the class. Alan Shoemaker, number one. Donnie Gormis, number two. And Brian Allen, number three. Those top three in the street gas. Yeah. All right, going into the last three of the evening. <laughs>
three here to go in the diesel, Travis Martin. Travis Martin, AJ Santoro, and Seth Martin, those three in the diesel class, and we'll finish up the evening. Street diesel four by four, but I'm right next. Travis Martin on the 2008 Chevrolet. Yeah, it's 1033. We're going to get out of here soon. Pregnant. Good for him. Two thirty nine fifty. Travis Martin. AJ Santoro on an 05 Dodge Ram coming up next. Double diesel right here, coming all the way out of North Carolina. North Carolina. AJ Sanborn. Now his crew told me he's gonna be he's gonna be way down y'all though. the hitch and the drive shaft. And $15 worth of diesel fuel and the 200 Six, six, two, nine, sixty-six, twenty-nine. Yeah, they got the hit. Let's Oh, 
Ready to roll. Here we go. He might need a pull it. Pull back. Dude said call an Uber. Oh my god. Y'all crazy. Are y'all out of here? Hey Jeff. been waiting for look at this shiny GMC Jeff Martin waiting all night long for this we got some underglow going that's gonna cost a little more horse, a little bit of horsepower a half a horsepower I hope y'all have enjoyed yourselves. Spending your Saturday night with me, old hey, Dub Dub, Will Whip. Just thinking, man, I don't know what that is. That dog just broke something. Too much power, broke the inject back of it. Yeah, Play look at on. those rims, man. That's some money there. So, normally this is three and a half hours from my house, but we're going to a hunting cabin. The, about 15 minutes away. We won't be on the road long. I don't know how far he can pull, but he looks like the best in the show right now. <laughs> they look clean looking. Clean GMC. I love it. <laughs> yeah, he's leaving the pool, and the police gonna probably up there and pull him. The last one, Seth Martin on an 07 GMC. Guaranteed third place. Ah, it's late. We can last. 1042. He gets past 66 feet, he can be in second place. On the for you.
show winner. Travis Martin, two, and A.J. Santoro, three. Ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all for coming out here tonight. It's been a wonderful time. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Have a safe trip home, and hopefully we'll see you back down here next September. There you go. If you like Farmville, Appomattox, Young Farmers, you can also follow the Dragon Motorsports Space Space INC page, as well as WWP, WWP TV video. Thank you for tuning in. Good night.